All right. Well, my neighbor knows that I have a uh, YouTube channel and uh, he throws stuff at me once in a while. He had these old uh, wireless headphones that had gone on the blink. So he says maybe they'd make a good video. So um, I thought we'd take a look at um, maybe it, we can take a look at the uh, spectrum of what type of uh, frequencies they're using, what type of modulations they're using for this for this headphone. OK, and so we'll start with the. Uh, with the transmitter side here, uh, it says it's IT, uh, Innovative Technology, the IT Corporation. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, innovative Technology Model ITHW858 wireless headphones. Oh, here's the frequency, uh, 49.86 megahertz. Wow, like the old baby monitor days. Um, transmitter, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, uh, he uh, he gave me the uh, uh, the wall wart for this thing, so we can. I don't have to put battery. You can put batteries in. I won't put batteries in it. Okay, so you put the audio in uh, with a with a, a three and a half millimeter connector, um, and so and it has an antenna. So we'll just uh, we'll just uh, plug in. Well, let's see. We'll just turn it on. Let's turn it on. And we'll use a non-contact probe. I've done a video on those. And uh, let's take a look at what we see on the uh, spectrum analyzer. All right. So if I bring the uh, non-contact probe next to the uh, next to the antenna, we, we're getting some some spikes out there. And oh, even if I just bring the antenna to the actual uh, transmitter itself, I'm I'm just uh, probing <laughs> probing the actual uh, box itself. We're getting a lot of things, and they're all low frequency things. So let's uh, let's see here. Let's put a stop frequency of let's say 200 megahertz, and there we go. We're getting a couple harmonics of something. It looks. Uh, let's put a stop frequency of a gigahertz here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's there's all kinds of stuff in there, but uh, let's say here 500 megahertz. Yeah, we're getting a whole series of, uh, of harmonics, so that's interesting. But we'll do a peak, and our peak is right at 50 megahertz, so that's right where it should be. Okay, so let's, uh, let's zoom in on that peak, uh, move it to the center frequency, and we'll zoom in on that. Uh, peak, move it back. We're at 49.957 right now. And uh, okay, so let me let me arrange things here a bit. I'll uh, I'll just kind of put the antenna antenna here in the loop, so it's catching all <laughs> catching all the waves. Um, and I'm going to inject a signal here. I'm going to plug in a uh, a cable, and I have a, a, a uh, audio frequency. So I'm going to be using my audio frequency generator here. And there we go. Ooh, it looks like FM to me. FM modulation. All right. So if I change the uh, function generator, as you can see, at uh, shorter frequencies, things move in, and or longer, yeah, shorter, longer wavelengths. Or, or, so uh, shorter frequencies, smaller, I should say, smaller frequencies and longer wavelengths. That's what I really should say. It gets tight together because there's not much difference. And then as the frequency gets bigger, the wavelengths get shorter and then things move apart. So that is, that is definitely FM modulation right there. And uh, when your uh, spectrum analyzer is no longer able to resolve the spikes, it all turns into a big lump, okay? Like here. Why is that? That's because of your resolution bandwidth. So we have a three kilohertz resolution bandwidth, and that's not enough to take a look at these individual little spiky things, right? So we could change that. We could change our resolution bandwidth here to, oh, let's go to 100 hertz. So now we're at 100 hertz resolution bandwidth, and now we should be able to, yeah, now we should be able to see those real fine things. And if I move the resolution, oh, that's a vertical. Let's see, I changed the wrong one. I'm sorry, I'm sure it's the wrong one. Uh, I was changing the uh, vi um, video bandwidth, not the, there we go. All right, there's a kilohertz, 300 hertz, 
100 hertz. So now we have 100 hertz of resolution bandwidth, and now we can go to very low frequencies, and we're still not quite resolving those. Let's, let's take, take it out so we start to resolve things. Here's, here's where we're resolving things, and that's at 3, three kilohertz right now. We're at 3 kilohertz, and we have 100, 100 hertz of resolution. All right. And we can change our span. We can span in a little even farther. Anyway, FM modulation is very interesting if you've never looked at it before. Um, lots to learn there. Lots of mathematics to learn there. Um, all right. So let's go back to auto for resolution bandwidth. And then we will change our, change our frequencies here. So what frequencies do we have now? Uh, let's see, marker, actually this looks like it's the middle right here. Yeah, it's not catching the peak. The peak is actually right there. Marker to center frequency, there we go. 49.97266. Am I able to test this somehow without changing my setup? There's one channel. Here's the other channel. Oh yeah, I'll just move. I'll just move you move my wire back and forth. Yeah, it's mono. It's definitely mono. I think. What do they say in Australia? Take it apart. Um, I don't know if these you know, screws screws under them. Yep. Screws under the feet. Always check your feet. All right. Here we are inside. Uh, we have uh, the antenna comes in here. It's got uh, a bunch of uh, hot melt. The, the little LED is hot melted in. Typical construction for something really, really cheap. And let's see if we can get the board out. All right, here's the board, here's the LED, and here's power. We'll get rid of power. And, uh, all right, so here is the uh, audio in, okay? And you can see that, um, Trying to figure out where it goes from there. See, this is the power supply section. So we have a, looks like a little inductor here to filter out the AC, make sure it doesn't hum. There's a, a couple resist, a couple diodes here to make sure you don't plug it in the wrong way. Then it comes over into this area here. And uh, there's one there's one transistor, which is the S9018. And then it goes to, yeah, I think that's about it. I think this is the oscillator here, okay? So we have, this is a, it's got some goo on top of it, but this is a uh, inductor. And this is the oscillator, and then the audio comes in and wiggles the oscillator FM style. And this might be a little varactor here. So the the um, uh, the audio comes in and goes to this varactor diode. That varactor diode is voltage controlled capacitor, and the L and the C here set the frequency of oscillation. 
and then once it's oscillating then it goes to a uh, a buffer it gets amplified for transmission and goes out the antenna so there you go another little inductor here on the output to the trans to the uh, to the antenna so yeah uh, interesting so might might save the uh, might save the the uh, variable capacitor the uh, Varicap or what are those things called? Varactor, um, voltage controlled capacitors. I, I did a video on those once before. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Not much else going on. Who makes the uh, capacitors? Is there a name on them? Uh, United. Okay, <laughs> whatever. All right, uh, here's the uh, earphone and here's the actual circuit board. And it looks like it is uh, hot staked in there, so we will need to surgically remove it here. Oh, I could, I could kill it. Uh, I don't know, it's not, it's not cooperating. And I don't feel like being nice to it. I do not feel like being nice to it. Sometimes you can get all of your aggression out. There we go. There we go. That's what we want. Nice. <laughs> all right. Uh, we have a couple buttons. Uh, we have some capacitors and things. Uh, we have a switch here, volume control, and it all comes down to one chip, as expected. Uh, here's some inductor, a bunch of other things on here. So, really, it comes down to that one chip, and we'll be lucky if we can get a number. Off. Oh, we can get a number off of it. It is a SC1088. SC1088. Let's see if we can find that. Uh, Cylan, 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 Electronic, Microelectronics, Auto Search Tuning FM Radio Receiver. There you go. Uh, here's block diagram. I got some tune oscillator. RF comes in. There's a mixer. V VCO goes into a filter and an amplifier. Yeah, it looks like a radio demodulator. Uh, SOP 16 package, search tuning with single Vericap diode, uh, mechanical tuning. Is there a Vericap diode on this too? Uh, yeah, right there. Uh, there's two Vericap diodes, uh, one on the other side too. Uh, power supply down to 1.8 volts, AM application supported. It'll do AM and FM. And uh, Equipped with all stages of a mono receiver from antenna to audio output. Has a mute circuit. Uh, yeah, there you go. If you want to build a radio, FM radio receiver, real cheesy one, you can put it all on one chip. All right. Okay, video for the day. Uh, FM wireless headphones from the good old days. These are probably built today. They're just, they're just mono and cheesy. So there you go. Thank you.